Hello and welcome to ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. Today I would like to do an overview of how I use OneNote with document cameras. So if you would like to follow along with this particular OneNote notebook, I've created a view-only copy at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash O-N-D-O-C-C-A-M. So if you'd like to visit that link, you'll see some examples that we go over here today. Um, but first, whenever I say document camera, I use the word in the broad sense of the term. A, do a traditional document camera, you'll lay a piece of paper or a textbook uh, on the document camera table and it will, be, it will be projected up to the front of the room. Um, however, I think more broadly, I use document camera to document learning activities uh, in the classroom and beyond. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. OneNote makes a great tool to do this because it's so versatile. So to begin with, one of the reasons I like it so much is I can access it anytime and anywhere. So I'm able to come up there. I've got digital inking that I can check off things as I go through. I can project my notes as I'm doing here up to the big screen uh, in real time so the students are seeing that. I create spatialized OneNote notebooks that are shared with specific individuals so you can create them ad hoc on the fly. Um, I also use multiple devices. Um, I almost always have my mobile phone so I can access all of my OneNote notebooks from my mobile phone. Uh, many people have tablets, iPads, uh, you can access it from a PC or a Chromebook with an internet connection so it's very versatile. You can use the device as cameras. So since I have my mobile phone with me, I'm often adding pictures uh, to my OneNote notebooks for examples that I want students to see over whatever uh, unit that we're studying. You can allow multiple editors. You can set up specialized OneNote notebooks and give edit rights to specific individuals to collaborate together and build a notebook together. So that's very powerful. Uh, you can also present your notes in real time as we go, and that's what we're doing here. So students have the opportunity to build this OneNote notebook together with you as they're learning new things, and you can address the issues of interest to them as you go. I am a huge fan of digital inking, so I have a Windows 10 tablet here. I can use my digital inking to draw their attention to whatever it is uh, that I would like for them to pay attention to. And just that very small thing is very important in the classroom whenever a student's learning something new. If you're able to draw their attention to it, uh, they're going to understand it much better. So I've got that going. Now let me jump over here to a quick demo. I'm going to go over here to my mobile phone and I'm going to log in and let's go ahead and I'm going to start up a recorder so that you can actually see what I'm doing here uh, as, as I uh, add, these, uh, add these notes. So I'm going to jump in here and go to my OneNote on my Android phone. So whenever I open up my OneNote, it will take me uh, to the particular document and you can see that I've already got my notes synced up. So since I store my OneNote notebooks in OneDrive, my phone is going out there and getting the most recent copy. So let's just jump over here to an example. Let me change to a different section here. Let's go to uh, my uh, on-the-fly section here. So if I go to my what I'm calling my teachable moments, and I'll do the same over here on this Windows tablet. Uh, let me see if I can turn this around so you can kind of see this. Uh, as, as we go here. Let's scoot this back so you can get that. I hope there's not too much glare on the screen there. So I am on my, uh, on my mobile phone in the uh, Teachable Moments section. I'm going to go out here and add a picture. Now I have a tray of rocks and minerals here that I would like for my students to see a little bit closer. Uh, so I'm going to come out here and I'm going to capture a photo from my device's camera. And I'm just going to come in here, focus on whatever it is I'd like to take the picture, and I'm going to say OK. And whenever I do, OneNote is immediately putting these, uh, this picture into the OneNote notebook on my mobile phone. But it's stored to OneDrive. So eventually you'll see that appear here. And sometimes it takes two or three minutes for things to sync up uh, with, with OneDrive. But the other thing that I can do on my mobile phone, since I have inking enabled, I can actually go out here and let me choose yellow here for the color. I can go out here and circle you know, a particular rock or mineral that I would like for the students to pay attention to. So I just added a device or added a picture there. So let me jump out of here and I'll just stop there and I will go back to my iPad now just to show you here another another device and whenever I sign in 
I'm going to go out here and go to my on the fly section and you can see here it's not synced up with my iPad yet but as that's syncing up I'm going to add another picture using my using my iPad so let me come out here let me go down a little bit lower okay my picture just synced up to OneDrive so there's the one that I added with my mobile phone let me grab one of these minerals out of here in particular and I'm going to place my cursor on this page using the iPad I'm going to come out here and insert uh, from my camera and let me come out here and find the object touch it to get it in focus take that snapshot and say add that so now then that picture is added immediately since I'm using my, my iPad it's showing up immediately and if I go back to my Windows tablet here and let's resync this to go back here to on the fly and there you can see that the pictures come in the one from the iPad hasn't made it here yet but it will eventually show up uh, the nice thing about this, as you're recording these notes for the students and using the various document cameras or cameras on your devices to document your work, uh, students will have a permanent copy as long as you, uh, you know, allow them access uh, to your OneNote notebooks. So uh, other examples out there, I've got a field trip example. So I uh, went to a local park or Fox Ridge State Park here in the local area and I just went out and I had my mobile phone with me. Now be aware that data carrier rates may apply so uh, if you're adding, you know, using your data plan be, be uh, concerned with that. But if you're on Wi-Fi uh, it's easy enough to do. So I've added some pictures here or you can just simply take the pictures, come back and later insert them into your OneNote notebook. Um, I've got another section here for rocks and minerals, so I went to our geology department. I took a couple of pictures of their display cases and just took a walk around the, the building where they've got various, uh, various examples and things, so you can really zoom in. And again, because I have the digital pen, this is a conglomerate, so you can come out here and talk about these specific individual components of this rock, so you can really draw the student's attention uh, to it. Uh, another example, here's an example of a metamorphic rock. Uh, so I want the students to be able to identify deformation of the layering and things in this particular example. So you could come out here and really highlight with your digital inking in case they're having trouble uh, understanding the concept or actually seeing the banded layers uh, that identifies this particular uh, rock. Um, you can document student work, so here's an example of some preschool art. Um, you can create electronic portfolios, document work, show student growth over time. And then I'm going to leave you with the Office Lens app. Uh, I don't have enough time here on this screencast, but there's an app called Office Lens that you can go out and insert documents and uh, uh, information from whiteboards. And the nice thing about this particular one is it has optical character recognition, OCR built in. So you're able to go out there and copy text uh, from the picture and it's also searchable. So we've got many different examples here of using multiple devices uh, and it makes it very easy to document your work. So I will leave you with that bit.ly link and if you'd like to see some examples, please visit that link. So until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.